I used to think that in order to get in shape, get lean, get six pack abs, or be excited about showing that beach body when you go on vacation, you need to follow this rigid diet, exercise 24 seven. Um, and I've tried it a few times myself, but um, how long do you think that you can stick to eating plain rice and boiled fish before you start thinking about killing yourself? Thankfully, YouTube came along and uh, with YouTube also a lot of fitness YouTubers, influencers, and they started promoting this thing called flexible dieting. And then I finally realized that I can actually fit in some foods that are not considered acceptable uh, when you're going for that Zac Efron type of look into my diet, but I also learned that I can add as many spices to my chicken as I want. <sighs> Mind blown. And when I thought that all my problems were solved and that next summer I'm going to be the leanest mother on the beach, it still wasn't happening. I would start the gym, go for a day, a week, a month, but then I would stop. Sometimes it would be just me hitting the snooze button way too many times. Sometimes I would think, okay, I'll just go in the afternoon, but then other things would pop up and I'm not going to go and then I'll just quit. Same with my diet, I'd be on track for a day or two, a week, but then a big dinner or a night out would take me way off track and I'll be super frustrated and quit. And then all of it all over again. It was a big issue for me to have any success fitness wise up until one day. One day I put on my shoes, I grabbed my gym bag and I went to the gym. Then one day became a week, a week became a month, a month became a year, and I'm hitting the gym six times a week to this day. It wasn't too long before I started seeing results and sticking to my diet became easier as I go and as I learn more and more about my body, the way I eat and the foods that I'm eating. So why was this time different? What happened that helped me stick to the gym, to my diet and just make it work for the long run? Well, at the beginning, I had no idea why it worked. I did not do anything purposely to trigger this behavior. It pretty much happened by accident. But analyzing it from today's perspective, I believe that there is a very valuable lesson to be learned here. And I hope that some of you guys that are struggling to be consistent at the gym or at anything else in life for that matter, can actually use this as an example to turn things around in your life. And actually, it's very simple. I built a habit. Think about it. Is brushing your teeth something you think about? Is it something you keep skipping on even though you know you need to do it and it's really good for you? Or is it something you just do without even considering not doing it? You're late for work, you're running out of your apartment with the toothbrush in your mouth because this is something you do every morning. What if you have the same approach with going to the gym? What if in your head this is even more important than brushing your teeth or taking a shower? People tend to look for excuses not to do and seemingly these are things that are out of our control. But here's the thing, they're not. This brings me to the tactics I accidentally used to build the habit of going to the gym regularly. I found myself tired in the afternoon. I would always rather go for a drink, for dinner, or just watch TV uh, instead of going to the gym. So I started going to the gym in the morning. First thing in the morning, I would go to the gym. So no matter what happens during the day, I got my workout in, I'm done with the gym, I'm all set. Analyze yourself, ask yourself this question. When is it most likely for you to actually go to the gym? Then I figured out that I'm kind of lazy in the morning and if I hit the snooze button too many times, I'm probably just not gonna go to the gym. So what I did is I placed my phone far away from the bed and I put a glass of water next to it. So when I hear the alarm, I go to turn it off, I have to get up from the bed, then I drink the glass of water and at this point I might as well go to the gym. Also, I would get my gym bag ready the night before so when I wake up in the morning, I get to turn off the alarm and have the glass of water. There's nothing else I need to do in order to go to the gym. I can just walk out of the apartment and go. Remember, you are your only competition and these are some good tactics to beat your lazy self. I did a lot of small things to make it easier for me to stick to my workouts and my diet. 
I know we say things like no pain, no gain, or if it was easy, everyone would do it, making it seem like it's nothing unless it's extremely hard. But the reality is that you have to find a way that works for you and you gotta make it as easy as possible for you to actually go to the gym. Once you get to the gym, yeah, go extremely hard, kill that workout, but make it as convenient as possible for you to actually show up. And probably the most important thing that you gotta have is a clear mind. Don't forget that building a habit is the solution, but it takes time. So don't stress out, don't expect things to happen too fast, give it time and do your part to make sure you stay as consistent as possible. And when you build the habit, trust me, you'll know. These days it takes more discipline for me to take a rest day than to actually hit the gym. It might sound ridiculous to some of y'all, but it's absolutely true. If you want to learn more about building habits, productivity and whatnot, I highly recommend that you check Matt Tiavella because I took a lot of inspiration from his videos, I've watched them all and I recommend that you do too. If you want to learn more about counting macros, how much protein, carbs, fat you need, how to get in great shape. I have a course on Skillshare. If you click the first link in the description, you'll get two months free to take any course on Skillshare and they have a course on pretty much anything. Anyways guys, thank you for watching the video. Hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Peace.